Hello, we're back. Hello. Yes. Now, the next one is going to be something that we all wish Eric was here for, especially that guy who commented last week, who who just <laughs> loves the joke, and he knows who he is. Uh, I don't know why I mentioned him. So, uh, they have this, uh, as a display at San Diego, they have basically a tube with <laughs> with a fake alien corpse in it that's avid sore. Yeah. And I instantly – here's one joke my, my friend said to me. He said, wow, because the, the picture he got was like of his of the face of it. He said, wow, Lindsay Lohan's mugshot looks great. <laughs> they, they dodged a bullet with that one. Uh, Actually, you know, I, I was thinking it looked like the Fox alien autopsy <laughs> special from the 90s. Oh, oh god damn it. Now Eric has more proof and – uh, so it, it looks like it looks like they skinned him because it looks like muscle structure. Yeah, it doesn't look. Yeah, I mean it. It it looks like it kind of looks like Aaron, sir. Um, really, uh, but <laughs> they got the pink right. Yeah, he's pink. I mean, it's a, and it's a dude. So you know, there you go. Um, I want. I want to see know. them change that. Do we have to make him a guy? Come on. Let's make him a unicorn. <laughs> they just find a dead unicorn in a spaceship. <laughs> that would be the best if I walked into the theater. <laughs> and uh, Hal Jordan got his powers from a unicorn. I would, I'd be the best. Jeff Johnson, you find this, you now have a new idea for a Green Lantern member. A unicorn. Oh, I guarantee you, if they did a unicorn story with Green Lantern in 1962, that would be the new uh, thing. <laughs> Uh, but um, let's see. I don't know. It's kind of funny seeing like the tourists like hanging around this naked dude. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this looks very weird. Hey, let's bring the kids over to see the naked guy. <laughs> oh, look! He has a he has a gun wound in his chest. Let's show Timmy. <laughs> she, oh, and also this doesn't help because uh, Def God Storm, who hates the who yeah. hates the Green Lantern costume. Yeah. This, he he because he because he, he hates the costume because he thinks it just looks like a muscle structure painted green. This again made him angry. It was like, and I was like, this is why it looks like that. <laughs> it's based off his body, and uh, it, it's just really tight. Out of it. <laughs> yes, it's it's basically like paper, really like really thin moldable paper. And uh, so yes, there's a so if any of you are in San Diego and you haven't found the alien corpse tube yet. Well, you know, because so many people want to find that. <laughs> yeah. Actually, there probably are a couple re really weird people out there. Uh, there's one. Yeah. It'd be really funny if there was a guy who's been going there for years waiting for them to have that. Like, how come there's not a tube here? Of course. <laughs> and then, there's plenty of room for a tube right here. It doesn't even have to promote anything. It would look awesome. Which, in all honesty... Like, what a <laughs> Which, in all honesty, would look really cool, actually. <laughs> it, w it wouldn't be out of place. <laughs> so no, not not, not not a comic convention. Maybe maybe if they put it near where they do all the TV panels, it would really be out of place. That'd be great. Oh yes, this is what you get for doing this here at our turf. <laughs> just set a dead corpse here for it. It's not a real corpse, of course. It's just corpse, of course, and it's just a pl fake one, but you have to stare at it the entire time. Yep. So enjoy your Q&A, you jerks. Wow, we got a lot of mileage on this thing. Didn't oh! We? Actually, one of our best ones was uh, when we were... It was like one of our very first ones. Me and Eric were joking about really funny, because uh, the story was uh, whoever won this auction got to be a character in Nemesis. And we joked, oh, and we yeah, yeah, yeah. and we joked like, what if his name was something really stupid, like the SS stronger than Superman? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I watched that. I know. I love. I, I would read that. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next one before we just get off a complete tangent, uh, like yeah. we have it already. So basically, uh, and this is actually news from yesterday, not Thursday. Well, actually, you'll see this Friday. Don't don't question my continuity. <laughs> Uh, so Stan Lee's, uh, POW Entertainment, uh, yes, he is, for those of you who weren't aware he had that, they made a partnership with Boom Studios, and through that, we're getting these, uh, three, uh, characters. Uh, Zero, uh, Soldier Zero, 
who looks iron like Iron Man, basically. Uh, Starborn, which... <clears throat> Uh, I don't know on that one. Um, <laughs> Star Starborn is uh, his real name is Judy Garland. <laughs> yes, and and the Traveler. There should be like really intense music every time he says his name. I'm the Traveler. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Uh, so so uh, here's ha- there are going to be three series. Uh, uh, Soldier Zero. Hurry, I get to re- repronounce these names. Uh, will be uh, done by Paul Cornell and Javier Pinta. That was my accent at work, and uh, that's beautiful. I loved. I was totally convinced you were <laughs> whatever that. Tasted. I know. Uh, the Traveler. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Just need to have that music. Will be done by Mark Wade and Chad Harden. No, I'm sorry, Chad Harden. And <laughs> Chad Harden. <laughs> Apparently, it's Asian. And Starborn, the most epic name ever, is going to be done by Chris Robinson and. Carrie R- Randolph. Yes. Uh, if you want to know what these characters are, well, the link will tell you because I don't want to read all this. You know, I kind of like this, uh, the Traveler costume, actually. I do, too. Right. But then again, I just like co- guys who wear cloaks. It looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> you can't break that yeah. mold. It's like, hey, you know, that that is kind of cool. I like the idea of the Traveler in color. <laughs> <laughs> A Quinn Martin production. Oh, I want to see that now. So someone make that. Someone make that fan film for me. <laughs> you people know how to. Uh, I'm sure you're all talented people. Now, uh, sadly, there's no one here to hold Manos back. So uh, everyone, get ready. That's, okay. Uh, Are we going to the that story yet? Uh, oh, oh, the, oh, that's yeah, that okay. story. That oh, whatever story you meant. Uh, so they're canceling. Uh, Vertigo's canceling Madam Xanadu. Ugh. Well, that was a lot tamer than I thought it would be. Uh, oh, I get yeah. I'm holding off until you're done. Oh, okay. Uh, so, basically, it's being uh, canceled for because of... Uh, it, it suffered from re- relatively low sales. No, man uh, No offense. And uh, this is weird because a lot of Vertigo books have been getting canceled. Most of them canceled around the 25th, 24th issue. That's roughly around two years. Yeah, uh, so, which is not bad. They get, at least they give these books like two years, you know, chance to catch on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so here's Manos to deliver his eulogy. <laughs> I've been saving oh. that joke all day because uh, if if Eric, well, thank you. Thank we were you. gonna call you in. I was actually thinking of just calling you in for this, so, just to have you deliver this. <clears throat> well, I wish I'd known ahead of time. I would have prepared one. Um, but, uh, actually, according to this story, uh, Man of Xanadu's sales weren't even the worst as far as, uh, the Vertigo books. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm really disappointed. I'm sorry it didn't catch on. Uh, it was an excellent series. Uh, I, I loved Matt Wagner's work on it, and, uh, Amy Reader Hadley's art was terrific. The good news is Amy Reader Hadley is moving on to, uh, the alternate artist of Batwoman, so... Uh, she's actually taken a step up in the comics world, so more people will look at her work. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, I never really even knew this character until this series started. And now I, I didn't even know about this book until you uh, did reviews of it, and I'm thinking of getting trades. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, uh, let's see. Uh, the first two trades are really good, especially the second one, uh, Exodus War. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very, very cool. And... Uh, yeah, I did my best to try and promote this uh, book, and I even like uh, got uh, Comic Book Orange to do uh, a review of it on their uh, site. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you know, I guess uh, so that's how things go. Um, oh, the recent uh, arc, uh, Broken House of Cards, was really good. It, it uh, uh, was a crossover with Martian Manhunter, actually, mm-hmm. and it's very, very cool. So, oh well, uh, for all of those who didn't read it, well. You missed out on a good book. Sorry. <laughs> you died because of you. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's your fault, not their fault. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to do that. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I, I'm gonna. Well, there's still the trades. <laughs> there are still trades, and maybe her profile's been heightened a little bit. Maybe she'll appear more in uh, DC Universe. Yeah, maybe. Always open. So, 
We're going to move on 